Welcome back everybody, it's me, Guy Man to and we are back today with Moto GP22. If you like this video, please hit that thumbs up button and leave a like. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and my content if you haven't subscribed already. If you do subscribe, thank you so much for subscribing and supporting me and my channel and my videos. And don't forget to hit that bell so you don't miss any of my videos as they drop onto the channel. So yes, we are back today with our Moto2 season. We are continuing our Moto2 season again back into row, uh, round two, I believe, the Indonesian track, the newer track on the calendar. Hopefully, after a, uh, a very good start to our season in the last race, won't spoil that, check it out if you haven't seen it. Um, yeah, we can get to a decent start. Hopefully we can improve on our qualifying, as our objective, I believe, is to qualify on the front row. Not entirely sure that's going to come straight away. I think we might have to build a little bit into that before we pick up some pole positions or maybe some third places in qualifying. But we shall see. But for now, let's head into our main menu for our career mode just before we head to Indonesia for the Indonesian Grand Prix. Righty, so here we are. We are in our main menu. We head to our contact management to begin with. We've got two factory teams. LCR Indonesian Honda and Tech 3 KTM. Well, at the moment, we don't really want to go with any of them teams. Obviously, we have the opportunity Already to talk to the with you Yamaha RNF MotoGP team, we are going to try and hold off for that all important and very elusive uh, Monster Energy Yamaha MotoGP contract because that's the one we want. Uh, obviously, yes, we could establish new teams as well, but we don't want to be doing that just yet. Uh, we've got a staff manager who doesn't look that good actually. Let's reject him because that's that's horrendous. Uh, yeah, so as for R&D, we've got three weeks for each of our components to be ready. So we've got, a, we've got a bit of waiting to do for those. But for now, we're going to head to the Indonesian Grand Prix. Two weeks before we go to Argentina and then Austin, we've got the Indonesian Grand Prix. There is our first place in the last one in La Salle in Qatar. So let's see how we can get on around here. Like I said, a newer track. We haven't really done any laps of this track in the mo on, on the Moto 2 machine or any sort of Moto GP. Hello and welcome to the Mandalika machine, circuit. Only Moto 3 from, uh, from our Moto 3 season. Moto we have also changed, some of you might have seen, I've also changed our, our number on the front of our bike there. We've gone for a similar number change or a number type to we had in the last game. And I've also, I've also changed my helmet. So as soon as we can see that helmet, I'll give you a bit of a heads up of what we've done there. What I am going to do is I am going to change what we did in um, what I did in the last one. So it was low acceleration. That's what we changed to give us a little bit of a little bit of a boost out of the corners, which I think we might need for this track. But we shall see. Like I say, I've not done any laps around here, so it could be interesting. We're going to do the tra track study first, just so it shows me a bit of the layout of the track, so we can try and get used to it. Uh, through our laps and maybe our race pace. We're going to try that one as well. We've got a tyre test, get valid lap of 136.9. Wow. On each type of compound. Okay. So let's uh, let's see how we are with those targets and see where we sort of where we sort of stand. Uh, in the meantime, so I will sort of jump straight out of free practice. I will do our free practice. Oh, before I do that, let's mention our helmet. I'm sporting a Pokemon Ball Crash helmet there. Uh, custom made by myself. Obviously, our logos and stuff on the side of it, and our sneak logo. As I, uh, I'm a big fan of sneakers, you can see behind me. Uh, yeah, so obviously we're about to start our flying lap of Indonesia. Um, I will drop back in with everybody once we have finished free practice, and we are heading into FP3. Uh, oh, sorry, after FP3, and we're about to head into qualifying. Results okay, so free practice, free practice is completed. Let's take a look at the riders who managed and, uh, to get well, last positive. Time. We think the we've been. Practice, I think apart from free practice one, we've been top of every three uh, riders FP who go directly session. into the second quarter. Uh, FP two was our quickest lap, with our one thirty four point four, but that was on the soft tyre on a medium front and a hard rear. We managed a one thirty four point seven, which was also top of that session. A lot of riders, uh, a lot of riders were out on a medium medium, so. <coughs> Welcome Excuse back, me. all you MotoGP fans. We're live for the race. The second we've Moto got a, uh, we've got a definite possibility here, but we need to see if we can manage that objective of our team to get a front row start. So we've joined by Celestino Vietti, Fermin Adeguer, Jeremy Arcova, and Albert Arenas. Jake Dixon and Sam Lowe are also 
in the um, in Q2, which is cool. Shame none of our teammates made it through. Development tests, we've completed them all, apart from the best sector time in sector four during the race, which could be quite difficult. Uh, and also with this track, it is very easy, very easy to um, to make a mistake and cost yourself a lap here. So anyway, we are going to try and go out for my first fly lap of qualifying. I will bring you guys my best lap. Hopefully, it's enough to get us into pole position. The we shall see the as we head out into the garage and the rider is to start my first fly lap. We do have two sets of softs if we need them. Okay, we could be into trouble here. I don't think we're going to be able to claim pole position. You see that Augusto Fernandez has just set a 134.3, and I'm struggling to actually get a clean lap in. Pushing that a little bit too hard to try and get our best lap. And um, it's definitely costing me. But let's see what we can do. We need to set a decent lap here. We'll just set our lap. Breaking into turn one. We've got Cameron Brodier in front of us. We've got a decent target. Round turn two. Turn three. A little bit of breaking into turn four. We pick up that later apex. Down the break a little bit. There's a little bit of curb. A little bit of break in through here. You get a little bit of rumble through your control. It makes you feel like you're going to lose the bike. But we didn't. Oh, we yeah. That's late through that. There's a lot of time on the camera going here there. That was a different line. Never done that before. Last quarter now. That's very off putting. Final corner. Out of the final corner. 32, 33, 34.4. Where does that put us? Fifth place. A 34.0. From Chantra, wow, that's a lap and a half. Okay, so sixth place with we the top Brit. Results you see on uh, the we managed our 133.4. Unfortunately, on five tomorrow. riders managed to go a little bit quicker than we did. Um, another sixth place qualifying. It seems to be our rhythm at the moment, a sixth place quality. So, uh, yeah, we tried really hard in that qualifying session. Um, maybe a little bit too hard, kept making a few mistakes. Um, some silly mistakes really, um, a couple of unforced errors and stuff like that where we're pushing just that little bit too hard. But we want to be pushing, we want to be up there for Moto2, it's, uh, it's quite a nice, it's one of the, my favourite classes Moto2, to the so circuit. We are yeah, let's see how we can get on during the, the race. To the starting grip. Not the entirely sure we're going to get, discussing uh, not entirely sure we're going to get a race like we did in the, the last one, cloudy, but, uh, but the weather we shall see. Hold up so we've the got the medium, medium, should remain dry. Uh, the just going to have a quick look at my levels. ECU, uh, yeah, five and three, that's what we're going to start with. Development tests, quick look, the only thing we need to do is sector four, get the best best race, or best sector time in the race. Uh, yeah, so let's jump straight in. They want us to get on the podium, but let's uh, let's see how we can get on. Obviously, it'd be nice to be on the podium. I don't know if I've been on the podium here in the in the last Grand Prix for Moto Three. I don't think we did. Uh, I don't think we did very well at all. So, Sonic Chantra with a soft front, medium uh, hard rear. That's a bit different. Uh, Jake Dixon, medium medium. Sam Lowe's medium hard. Where's our first teammate to? Uh, Manzel Gonzalez, medium medium. That's not a bad shout from him. And our other teammate, Camilla Kubo, is medium medium as well. And it seems like a lot of the AI running wide into the first corner for our warm up lap, which is good. Um, yeah. Like I said, hopefully we can get a good start, but let's uh, let's just see how things get on With around the Indonesian Grand Prix. The hopefully we can get the same sort of start as we did last time. Grand Prix will get underway. Here we are, clutching revs up. As soon as those lights go out, we are again. Here we are. We're going to get a similar start to last time at Qatar. Not 
not as good. Hopefully we can get a little bit of a late break in here. Oh, bike squirming about there as we put the bike under immense pressure going through turn one. A little bit wide, but that's okay. We'll pick up that early apex as we go into turn four. Right, we've just got five laps around here, so we need to be very careful. It's going to be extremely easy to pick up track limits warnings around here. Exhibit A. Oh, no, I thought we were going to get track limits warning there. We didn't. It's also going to be very easy to make mistakes like that. We didn't get track limits warning, though. I'm surprised there. Gap at the moment is 0.6. Wow. Let's see if we can stretch that time. We're going to push here, which could be our downfall, but we're going to try it anyway. We've got 0.7 laps of fuel. I'm going to be very careful into this final corner during this race because it's a horrible corner. Someone has gone down. I think that was Ayagura. Out the final corner, going to lose a lot of time coming down this straight, I think, because that was horrendous. We've still got lots of fuel left, which is good. I'm going to break a little bit earlier than we normally do into turn one, because I don't want to apply so much front brake. We get round, lap one unscathed, lap two is going to be very wide. That's okay, so we'll pick up that later apex. Curves, like I said, pick up that track limits warning. Oh, that's going to be tight. That's a little big time there, going to lose me time. Gaps down to 0.8 now, get off of them curves. That's going to stop that time. Easy. Again. We didn't get as good a shot off the line as we did in the last race, but uh, the gap was up to 1.2 at the moment. Very easy around this corner. Here we go, final corner. And the second lap, gap is at 1.3 at the moment. We've still got 1.7 laps of fuel. So let's say that fuel round here isn't an issue. Very tentative into turn one there. I'll break that a little bit earlier for turn two as well, because we've been going wide there. Oh, I thought it was going to be on the curve, don't want to be there. Gap's 1.2 now. Second now, with the two laps remaining, 1.6 extra fuel, so we're going to use it. Turning into turn one. It seems 
seems like medium medium was definitely the right choose. Oh, that's why. Right. Yeah, that's the track that was wanted. That's the track that was wanted I didn't want as well, to be honest. Oh, this one. How can I not get a track that was wanted for that? I'm pushing slightly harder now because we've noticed that gap's come down. To one second as we cross the line. It's 1.5 now though. Can we keep that? I do hope so. We haven't got into them curves this time, which is good. With that 0.5 second lead or 1.5 second lead as well, just eases the pressure off when we come into this corner. Because this is the corner, you can either gain a lot of time or lose it. Back to 1.5, we're on the final lap, we've done the quickest lap of the race. Where does our race pace come from in this motor too? Easy, get that front end down, that's not good. That's going to cost me a lot of time through there. I don't really want to be on them curves either. Someone has crashed on the final lap. We have gone very wide again. Shouldn't really be doing that on the last lap. We'll take the kick through this game and he gives you trapping this warning. That was slow through there, that was a poor sector. Oh, we're on the curves. Don't want to be on them curves when I'm breaking into this corner. Right, gap to 1.2, so it's come down a little bit, but I'm being a little bit more. Well, actually, this just isn't a very good lap. I was going to say, being a little bit more tentative, but I'm not. It's generally just a poor lap. Right, we've got one second lead coming in for the last couple of corners. It's going to be very tentative into this corner, because it's just horrible. Get it stopped, we don't lose the front end. We don't really coming out of the corner. Final corner time. We don't lose the back end coming out of the corner. We've got a gap of 0.9, and that's only going to increase. We go across the line to take our second win in round two. Our Moto2 season is getting off to an absolute brilliant start. who made the podium, but in the meantime, let's take a look at the final standings of this. Beautiful. Look at that. Two races, 50 points. A brilliant start for us and the team. Unfortunately, none of our other uh, other our riders in the team are, kit, are collecting points. Camera is taking us into park for there we are. Race we got our second win of the championship at mechanics. only round two. Like this, I didn't think we were going to win that race, for honest. I thought that was going to be a race that we were going to struggle at. Because soon it's a circuit we haven't done many laps on. Argentina next, of course, which is a... Uh, which is a circuit I quite like, so that'll be interesting to see how we get on through there. Wow, blown away by our our race pace in this Moto2 season. So far, of course, so far, it is only round two. So we pick up the credits for the race, we pick up our reputation. Obviously, development says we didn't get a best sector, which is a shame. But um, that is what it is. We've got contract management. We've got three more teams here. Who have we got? So Suzuki Axstar, uh, Red Bull KTM factory team, or Prima, or Prime Pramac. Ducati racing team. We've got three more teams that we could look at getting. Obviously, we do want to be aiming for that Monster Energy Yamaha contract. We've got a lot of races to go until we get to a point where we have to start talking to teams. So hopefully by then, we will have what we can get for the team-wise. Uh, yeah, so just looking at sort of the other teams that we can get. Obviously, this is uh, creating your own team. You don't really want to do that just yet. Uh, yeah, so that's where we are. We'll advance to the next week, which is obviously Argentina. Um, and that's it. So we've got one week to complete all of our objectives for our headquarters. But the next Grand Prix is Argentina. So we head to Argentina for the uh, Toma de Rio Honda circuit, I believe it's called. Uh, Grand Prix Mimo Michelin, if unless it's changed names, I'm sure it used to be the Toma de Rio Honda. Uh, again, 
actually a circuit I quite like, so hopefully with a bit of luck we can uh, we can have another good weekend around here. But at the moment we're doing really well at Moto 2, hopefully that continues and we can continue to uh, we can continue to grow our reputation. Hopefully get that Yamaha contract for next year from Moto GP. Obviously we will get a Yamaha, it'd just be nice to be in that satellite uh, sorry, the factory team rather than the satellite team. But for now, that was our race done. Another first place, second round, second win. We head to Argentina where hopefully we will get our third win of the season. That is all we've got time for today. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please hit that thumbs up button and leave a like. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and my content if you haven't already. If you do subscribe, thank you so much for supporting me and my channel and my videos. I really do appreciate it. And don't forget to press that bell so you get notified of any of my videos as they drop onto the channel. So we were back today with MotoGP and our Moto2 season. Uh, round two, Indonesian Grand Prix, a circuit that we didn't think was going to be very well. However, we still managed to qualify sixth, so we're still holding on to that sixth place as our best qualifier, and we haven't managed to get that front row start just yet. But we did manage to get first. We were first coming into the first corner, a little bit of heavy braking into there, the bike screwing around a little bit too much, a little bit more than I would have liked going into that corner, uh, and then managed to eke out a gap. Uh, I think of around 1.2, 1, 1 second between there anyway for the first lap. So we, um, yeah, we gained enough and uh, managed that with uh, being a little bit more tentative through a couple of the corners that are a bit risky uh, to try and get that sort of quick lap time in. But we did it. We managed to get first place, our second win of the season. We head to Argentina for the next race, which I hope you guys will come back and see. If you do, I shall see you all in that next video.